Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One of my latest videos is Cooking Venom. You also have Cobra Commander. And you have Grail King. You girls and guys be safe out there and I will catch you later. Peace. Had to stop and refuel. I got a whole supreme pizza for myself. I got my favorite drink. I'm watching my favorite movie, Phantasm, uh, for Halloween. Oh, yeah. About to go in. Peace. Yo, I just got home from the comic book shop. And uh, now I'm just laying down watching Vampire in Brooklyn. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys the books I got. You know, I've seen a couple people, you know, do the shot from the floor. So... That's how I'll do it today. You know what I'm saying? But this is uh, Youngblood Battlefield. Uh, number one. Is it Battlefield? Or is it Battle Files? I don't know what it is. But it's uh, definitely one that I have in my collection that I need to get back. And uh, yeah. So I start off old school. But man, I got some terrific covers for you guys. This is all about covers. It has nothing to do with nothing else. No monetary value. No nothing. All these books strictly have to do with the covers. That's why I bought them. So you guys ready? All right, let's get into the video. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by Cooking KD, Lips by Kimmy, Fred Hall Direct Edition, and everybody's favorite, my fake thoughts mom from China. All right, so I can say this one more time because, you know, I don't usually get... Uh, pick up comics anymore. Let's get into some comics. Yeah, so like I was saying, all these are basically, you know, going to be uh, awesome covers. This is a Secret Wars Collector's Corpse that I saw. You know, Lady, Lady, Lady Thor, which is Jane Foster. So definitely wanted to pick this up because I know it's pretty rare, even though I got it for like a dollar or something. I know it's pretty rare, you know, because it comes from the collector core. So maybe it'd be like the, you know, Toy Biz Marvel Legend comics that break out of pack. Sometimes they, you know, resell them and they end up uh, kind of going for a little good price. Uh, but this is very awesome. You know what I'm saying? And from now on past these two, it's just going to be straight main events, current main events. So you guys ready? All right, let's do this. There you go. Uh, Punisher Armory number two. Jim Lee cover. That's that classic Jim Lee, man. He draws his superheroes and villains with that sinister look. Um, Punisher and Wolverine definitely love how Jim Lee draws them. And uh, yeah, definitely had to pick this up, man. This is a classic. Old school. I don't think I have any more old school, so we're just going to go current. You guys ready? All right, let's, let's continue. X-Men. X of Swords creation. Definitely had to get this, man. I definitely want to... Uh, dive into the first issue before I pick it up on uh, paperback. But yeah, you see Apocalypse in the middle, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite villains of all time. He's right behind the Joker and um, definitely had to pick this up. And I think I bought all these books. Usually I'll, you know, buy books at a discount or back issues, but I bought all these books straight up, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, whatever they, whatever the, the price said. And this one was pretty pricey. I think it was $7, but it's pretty thick. So it's like I'm reading a graphic novel. So I definitely wanted to dive into this before I actually picked up the paperback just to see how it is. But any X-Men story I like anyway. So you guys ready? All right, let's do some more. And boom, how cool is this? Giant size X-Men. Uh, since Shattered first issued New Deadly Genesis. I have the old Deadly Genesis from front to back. I have every issue of Deadly Genesis, and I definitely had to pick this up just to see what was going on. Like I said, it cost me about $60 to pick up all these books, but hey, I haven't been to the shop in a while, so you know I really don't mind spending $60, but yeah, man, this is very cool cover. Um, just awesome. So definitely can't wait to read these two to see what they're about. All right, let's keep going. So X-Men related, you know, I definitely had to pick up Juggernaut number one just to just in case if this book takes off, um, one of my favorite artists, uh, Fabian, definitely uh, on the front cover. I think that's Fabian's on the front cover. Uh, but yeah, I definitely love Juggernaut. Um, this is a dedication to Ch uh, Chadwick Boseman. So definitely, you know, just very cool. On the back of it, all these uh, comics that's dedicated to Chad, Chad, uh, Chadwick Boseman, 
there's a picture of him, so it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely was looking for that Spawn cover. Uh, couldn't find it. I'll find it later. No big deal. But definitely Juggernaut number one. Very cool. Yeah, I haven't picked up a Spawn in a while, but I thought the Spawn cover was cool. Um, you know, uh, world record-breaking comic. Very cool. Uh, the cover it looks almost like a... What's his name? Uh, shit. Excuse me. Uh, sit down. It looks like a Saddam cover, but I'm, I'm sure it's probably not Saddam, but it's just it's just a very awesome cover. You know, uh, like I said, I wasn't really looking for any gems or anything like that. I was just looking for comics that I can freaking, you know, just buy and get out. It, it, it tripped me out because usually I stay in the comic book shop. Allow my sexy fingers to interrupt your video. Usually it's $2.99. Usually I stay in the comic book shops for like two, three hours, but... Um, I ain't gonna lie, within the first hour, I found all my books and I kept going back and looking for more books and looking for more books. But I basically found all these books like within the first hour, which is kind of sucky, but at the same time good because I like to marinate in the comic book shop, uh, but it was no time for marination. I just had, you know, I just basically picked up all the books that I wanted uh, as soon as I saw them, and that was it. Look at the spawn cover, man. You gotta give appreciation to that. Look at that. Sh look at that crap. That's so realistic. Just awesome. Oh, I didn't even see the guy in the back getting his neck uh, broken. Just, man, God dang, that's awesome. I wonder who's the artist. I got to look on the inside to see who the artist is. Because this artist is hitting on every point. Just awesome. So realistic looking. Just awesome. All right. I'm sorry. I keep moving. Let's keep going. So we got Justice League Dark, Dark number one. And you could def I definitely could tell that's Capullo. Uh, I just know Capullo from his Batman run. His Batman run was so awesome. And it's a very nice Virgin cover. But I didn't stop at number one. I also saw number two. And this is crazy because a customer is trying to hide it. Um, but I definitely saw it and picked them both up. And uh, they're very awesome. You know, I said Capullo did his thing on the Batman run. So I can actually look at his artwork and tell... You know, his artwork without even, you know what I'm saying, like looking to see who's the cover artist. And here's a very interesting one while we're on Justice League. Here's another one. And this is Justice League Dark number 50, You're the Villain. So very cool cover. I like these Virgin covers. I'm starting to really, really dig these more than any regular cover. But yeah, there you have it. Cool Justice League run. Justice, Justice League Dark. So you got Justice League Dark number one, number two. And you also have number three. I mean, not number three, number 50. These covers are awesome. All right, let's keep going. So at first when I saw this, I was like, dang, they turned Vampirella black. But I didn't think so. I think it's just like a, a another way to look at her. But this is uh, Vampirella number eight. This is the A cover. Let my six fiends interrupt your video. And this is the B cover. I like the B cover a little bit more. That's a little bit more sexier and uh, what do you call it? Foxy brownish. But 50 Years of Vampirella, I didn't even think, um, you know, she was going on that long. But uh, yeah, definitely had to pick up these covers. And not only did I pick up these covers, but I absolutely picked up these covers. Let's look. So we got, I uh, definitely always like cosplay covers. So this is Vampirella number 10, cosplay. Uh, that lady is sexy out of this world. She looks almost like uh, Elvira to me, uh, which is pretty cool. And then you have Vampirella number 14. And she actually gives me a Latina vibe. I, I love cosplays. Definitely love cosplays. Uh, Miss Dragon Con this year because of COVID-19. But uh, yeah, I'm starting to get like uh, my boy Tom Ryan. Wide. I love uh, cosplay covers, but these are cool. You know what I'm saying? Very awesome can't beat those you know what i'm saying bought them for cover price didn't care long hair don't care let's let's go back a little bit so you can see them wow these are awesome like i said every cover i'm gonna bring to you is gonna be a main event so that might be the name of this video just name it main events that's it main event covers all right let's do this because we're about to run a little over 10 minutes not even a power rangers fan but I learned about the White Ranger and the Green Ranger and uh, definitely became a fan. 
This cover is so awesome. I know I'm a couple of years late, but this cover is everything. One of the best covers I picked up, period. I think this is the best cover uh, that I picked up. Uh, definitely love the Green Ranger. Love the right <laughs> White Ranger and the whole storyline behind that. I saw one video where, well, I remember back in the day when I did, used to dabble a little into the Power Rangers, how he kicked, I think his name's Tommy. Man, he whooped all, all their asses. I'm talking about they didn't want no smoke. He wanted all the smoke. So, yeah. Pretty cool cover. Man, we're going to keep on going. I'm going to give you everything. So let's keep going. So since we're on the Alex Ross craze because he's doing the legacy covers, I think that's what it's called. Let's just get all the Alex Ross covers that we see that we can pick up. The only Alex Ross cover that I left is the current uh, Captain America. I think it was number 22 Alex Ross cover, but definitely picked up this Alex Ross cover. This is Marvel Snapshot Spider-Man. So, um... Pretty cool. And then the artist from here was the artist from... I've seen the artist before, but you know, I, I'm not going to go on and on about the inside artist. But definitely love the outside artist, Alex Ross. And uh, yeah, let's keep going on some Alex Rosses. Iron Man number one, Alex Ross. I definitely was going to pick up two of these, but I was like at my price limit. Um, I end up, like I said, spending like $60. So I was like, let me just leave this other Iron Man number one Alex Ross cover for somebody else. But I was very tempted to buy two of these covers. Very cool. All right. Let's keep going. All right, now, your last Alex Ross cover is very awesome. So this is part of the Alex Ross legacy or some crap, like covers. Uh, picked up this Captain America. Very awesome. I didn't see any other, other other covers, but definitely had to pick this one up just to say I have one in my collection. And uh, yeah, I like it. Very awesome. So we got two more and that's it. You guys ready? All right, let's do this. Oh yeah. How about this Jenny Frizen cover? Ooh, I'm telling you, man. I saw it. I definitely had to get it. It was just awesome. And uh, anytime I see Jenny Frizen covers of Wonder Woman, that's what I'm looking for. I definitely pick them up. But not only did I stop at number 56, but we got number 57. It almost looks like a deceased cover. Oh, man, that's awesome. That is nice. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So that's what I meant about all my covers are just awesome on this video. You guys ready? I hate to let this video go. This is one of those videos that I just want to immortalize. It's just so awesome. But once again, thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. The channel is for all Direct Edition. I pray that everything you do be successful. Um, definitely love you guys. Remember words of wisdom. Focus on the ones that show you love. And on the ones that don't show you love, hey, we're just going to keep on rolling without them. You girls and guys be safe out there and I will catch you later. Much love, peace, and prosperity. Peace.